Remember, I'm gonna get the chocobo to ride on. Yeah, but I don't want to have to go all the way back to the beginning for that. That'd be ugh. That wouldn't be fun. That wouldn't be fun in the slightest. No, we'll we'll get it when we hit the the save area, because yeah, otherwise it's going to be a very long, painful walk. That was a good fun. Uh, oh, yeah. And then yeah. So what we might actually do at that point is switch uh, Sylph out for the Moogle. Uh, just because I can't do anything with Sylph right now. Oh, I went the wrong way. We go up this way, I think. Do I even have this on the map? Do I even have this there? There's, there's nothing there. What? I'm confused. Looks like we've climbed up even higher. Uh, let's see. Yeah. I should really probably just turn off. Ooh, wait, Wildhorn. I don't think I've seen Wildhorn yet. Oh wait, yeah, I've seen Wildhorn. Yeah, it actually does a fair amount of damage. I'll give it that. I have it on flame, which doesn't do as much, but AOE definitely worth it. Okay. One thing you don't like about JRPGs is reskin monsters. Yeah, this this game is surprisingly a little bit uh, over reliant on them. Originally, I was actually expecting it to be a little bit less, but it, like, it, they're just recolors, too. I'd be okay if they were, like, All right. similar so but bad. different. Like, originally, when there were the two different type of, types of goblin. I didn't mind too much, especially because they seem to be kind of different, but now, at this point, everything's just kind of, like, homogenized. Either that, or we've sunk to a new low. Oh, you know what? I just realized something. That or we've so okay, items. Uh, Seraphone, yes. Instead of suffering this any further, uh, which do we get rid of? Honestly, goodbye, Cerberus. You're cool, but not that cool. You're also really flimsy, like, surprisingly so. Where's the Choco Chick? Oh, right. There we go. Now we'll actually have some music here, presumably, please. Either that, or we've sunk to a new low. Mother. Fuck. We have a chocobo. We don't have choco music. Well. That was a waste of money. And patience. Oh right, it's a dark move. Doesn't do any damage to them anyway. Uh... Oh shit, I should have kept using the Seraphone to switch the Red Dragon over to uh, the Holy Dragon. Well, whatever. I would just keep going. We did it. But, Victory. man, that... Yeah, the graveyard is causing no music. I know. And I'm not... Yeah, apparently all dungeons make it so you don't have music. This is dumb. Why even have the feature? Why even have this feature? If it only works when you're in the few areas where you're not. How many trains have these people destroyed? There's got to be like the entire Amtrak fleet in here and then some. This is ridiculous. Oh, I guess I'll just go back to riding Behemoth. In sadness. I... Ah! Okay, here we go. I won't hold back. Hey, at least it's a new type of non-vampire that I can fight and... Let's see, what are they all resistant to? I've got these guys. Resistant to fire, good to know. Resistant to also fire. Great to know. What about Thandara? 
Weak to Thundara. Thundara doesn't do jack shit for damage, though. Well, that's a... Uh... Yep. Ow. Yeah, there's some good features in this game, but at the same time, there are numerous mistakes. Yeah, I think part of the other problem is I'm in the, uh, I'm in the, like, three-quarters doldrum, where, like, with a really good game, you're, like, kind of sitting, you're, you're sitting at the edge of the, your seat being like, oh, come on, just, like, a little bit further. Oh, shit. They're killing each other. Like, with a, with a, a really good RPG, you know exactly... You know, like, exactly that, like, shit's going, shit's going down, you need to worry about things, everything is hard, and, you know, maybe you're even, like, losing. Uh, maybe it turns out party members betrayed you or something. I don't know. Any number of things. And... That hasn't happened this entire game, and it bothers me a little bit. That, like, we've never had the, any of the, like, standard story tropes. And I kind of miss them, because... I, I kind of miss them, just because, like, instead we're w in this, like, weird graveyard that nobody understands. Can we please kill that stack? That chrome giant is ridiculous. Okay, never mind. Let's just do Abaddon Flame. I don't even know who's resistant to fire here, but they're pretty injured, so it works. There we go. Thank thank AoE. Thank Counter. Probably should have gone for the little guy first. He would have died instantly. Right. Wow! Right. That that this was that was a rough fight. Please be worth a lot of experience. And the answer is yeah, pretty much. Yeah. How about change the battle music so I don't go crazy? I already changed the battle music though. Like we've got we've got this one. I guess yeah, let's go let's go with lightning's theme next. Cuz I really do like that song actually. You know I think oh, what the feck? Hey. Mega elixir. Nice. Yeah, I'll go with this along the way. Huh. But yeah, no, I don't know. This game doesn't have any fifth act twists. It's gonna have a seventh act twist, which is going to be the finale. As in, it's gonna be a surprise when it comes along, because I don't think anybody was really expecting it. They're just kind of expecting this game to go on forever. Kind of not doing much. Like, it's still fun. I still like it, but it's like, come on, just let me get out of here. Let me, let me just go fight something that matters. Like usually, at least at this point, we've fought one of the villains. The only villain we fought was the possessed mayor. Apparently, uh, apparently, there's a big fight coming up. Could have fooled me. Could have fooled me. Play some of my own music. I can't do that very easily when I'm. When I've got, uh, the PS4, I'd actually have to... I'd have to... Like... Yeah. I'd have to unlock... Well, I'd have to unplug my headphones, then I wouldn't be able to listen to voice acting, and... I don't know, whatever. Anyway. Yeah, th this is the point where I get cranky about bad game design or weird game design decisions. Oh, thank god, there's a save point. Is there anything I'm going to change? Right, yes. Access Prism Case. So we might actually be close to... ...done fighting here. So if we take a look at this sucker, we're going to have... ...Dark Weakness. Eh, fuck it. Let's try it. We haven't we haven't exactly been using the uh, Holy Dragon anyway. Let's mess with its Mirage Board, though. It's actually pretty close to done, too. And, in fact... I ate my words. Oh, holy mirror jewel. Oh, it's a mirror jewel. I was wondering about that. I think I'll go with stats for the time being. Let's see. What what's your resistance? Oh, so they're gonna be equal out. I finally got the holy dragon. I got it a while ago, I just haven't been using it. 
Mainly because I'm lazy. And I got other things I do. Uh, okay, where does this bring us? This brings us back here for some reason. Well, if one direction is progress, then this progress is probably... Oh. One of those. Oh, does that just lift that up so we can backtrack and get that treasure chest? At least it's not that long of a run. Yeah, I've had the Holy Dragon for ages. I've just been really lazy about about using it. Okay, so what the hell are you weak to? The answer is light. Water and lightning. Okay, well, I've got Heavenly Wrath. Let's try it. I haven't seen this one before. Okay, that was an acceptable amount of damage. Okay, what else do we have? We've got Rays, Ultrasonics, Flare, Holy Ray. A little bit late for it. Let's let's just go back with uh, Heavenly Wrath, honestly. Especially if I get him with a crit. And I could do Tickle. There we go. That's one way to do it. Sadly, we don't have the AP to do the uh, the AOE, but at least we can take out all the the little bits. So this just goes. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, the going back to get the Holy Dragon thing was like kind of a side moment a while ago. It really did not take me very long. And then I never used it because the Red Dragon was cooler in my opinion. I mean, the Holy Dragon's pretty cool too. It's just its abilities are a little bit... Okay, seriously, there's supposed to be a bunch of Murkriffs in here. Uh culminating in us fighting like a unicorn thing that I catch. I was kind of expecting that to show up at some point, but I, I guess I guess it's either at the very end or there's like a whole second area past this. I I don't know. Oh, whatever. Oh, see this is a group this is a group I can hit. Holy ray. Which looks exactly like the Abaddon one. Okay. Yeah. It's pretty much the same thing. Does good damage, though. I'll take that bit. And yes, I know the, the fire dragon can become the holy dragon. I just did it. I do have a spare holy dragon sitting around there, but I don't really have a lot of use for that. Okay. Watch this not be worth it. Okay, that was arguably quite worth it. I haven't really needed a mega phoenix yet. But I also haven't been in that, like, much, much trouble, either. I love how there's just silence occasionally interrupted by blinding, blinding light. Yeah, I, I get really distracted when, uh, when I get into battle. The, the glass shattering noise comboed with the, uh, with the white flash actually does kind of fry my brain. Especially today. Like, I'm really tired today, so it's, it's easy for me to get, right. for my brain to get fried by so anything. Which is why I'm playing Final Fantasy now. Unfortunately, we have just gone through two of the least interesting zones in the entire game. Yeah, that's why I'm so cranky post about this game. It's because there's nothing has happened for two chapters. Like, not even remotely close. Gimme, gimme. And they're the largest two, I think. I don't know. There are probably larger ones than Alexander, but goddamn did Alexander feel incredibly long, comparatively. It was a path by the chest, so you didn't have to backtrack. Oh, really? I didn't see it. Well, whatever. Don't care. Uh, oh, this is a convoluted mess. How the how the deuce do we get up? Maybe there's a uh, container I can cross over or something. Uh, not these chuckleheads. All right. Uh, start with Holy Ray. Takes out one. Now let's tickle this stack. Oops. Well, this is everything that I didn't mean to do. Oh, goody. Yeah, I, I thought, I thought uh, Rain was gonna come in later. Guess not. Okay, there they go. There they fall over. Now we just, now we just beat them up. 
Of course, we probably should go for the little guys first. But I'm having a seriously hard time caring. Oh, interesting. I can catch him. Didn't I already catch a chrome golem? I actually don't remember. Well, that's okay. I'm just going to sit here waiting <laughs> for this fight to go. But yeah, no, Alexander was Alexander was uninteresting just because the the support character was a, a glorified cameo at best. Holy shit, this guy is durable. Okay, there we go. Finally. Um but no yeah, trouble at all. Uh, oh, hey. Bart's was a glorified cameo. Gilgamesh didn't even make sense. Uh, Alexander was stupid and boring, and the only thing interesting about it was the Iron Giant. Yeah, I really don't see how I'm supposed to get up here. I guess I'm supposed to cross that specific one. Okay. Why is that not on the map? Can I, can I get up here without you messing with me? There we go. Okay. And then we come to this area, which really has no plot significance apart from from uh, Cloud is here. Let's see. I guess we might as well do Cure, because we're going to be Holy Ray in, the, in a second. There we go. This is a good spot for Holy Ray. This is a very good spot for Holy Ray. But yeah. And apart from, like, the fact that we know the Plunge Knight is just going for summoners instead, uh, then we get here and it's just like, funny thing with, with people. And then, longest area in the game, or at least it feels like it, oh, it drags on. Especially because the monster variety is kind of boring. It's just it recolors. Yeah, that, that too. And then there's no music. I think the truly, truly worst part is no music. Everything else I can kind of forgive, or just say whatever to, but the lack of music. Come on, Final Fantasy. You do great music. Ah. Uh, okay. Enough bitching. Let's, let's go back to just kicking ass. We're almost done with this area, too, which is really nice. And actually, you know, I, I do have to give this place a little bit more credit. We are flush with experience. Like, I... I'm more than willing to bet that we are overleveled by the time we're done. Uh, we're going to be overleveled by the time we're done with this. Does that give me... Ah, it only gets me two AP for that. I was hoping it would be like one or two per... ish. Okay. Lack of music contributes to the spoopiness of the area. At least have it be like constantly punctuated by like creaking train noises and like... Woo. So for that wouldn't even be that creepy either. Just be dumb. Oh, there's some kind of sigil up there. Ugh, not these guys again. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Uh -oh. Fuck. There we go. Bye. Instead of fighting those guys again, I'd rather fight two of the other fight. See ya. Oh goody, a weight puzzle. Oh. That's why there's a save point here. Wait. Thunder was What? Huh. That's why there's a save point here. Alright, guess I gotta go find some thunder resistant dudes. Do I even have any? Yeah, I don't. I actually don't know. Yeah, have we ever used holy? Can I use holy? Don't. We don't have holy. What? Apparently we don't have holy. Well, I guess we got the mirror jewel, which I should probably equip, com considering everything. Okay, there we go. Now we use the now we use the good move. I love it that we're we have a bat participating in holy ray. Right. That just feels weird good to me. Job. Okay, 
So, now that we've done that, yeah, it's, it's like 30,000 experience per fight. That is good. Let's check Mirror Jewels. Whoa, some of our people are above 40. Good to know. Okay, so what do we have? Dark Resist, Cure, Fyra, Holy, Resist, Poison. Well, let's do Fyra. And let's do Holy. I guess I could do Resist Dark, but I don't care. Okay, let's... Let's do... This is a pain in the ass. I don't really have a whole lot of things with Lightning Resist. Well, I guess let's put Chocobo away with somebody that has Lightning Resist. This is... Oh, wait, shit. I wasn't even paying attention. I was looking at the wrong one. So, Kuzikit has some. Right Claw has a bit. Ah, Magic Jar has 50. Oh, Spark Dragon, of course. There we go, problem solved. All we have to do is stack somebody really heavy. And then Spark Dragon. I knew I had something, I just didn't remember what it was. Thunder resistance here though? Doesn't make any sense to me. And Moogle. That's a hack job if I ever saw one. Oh, what does this do? Oh, this this moves that train so we can get this direction. Presumably that's for the secret area. All right, well, I guess, no, we don't want to bring Spark Dragon with us. I don't really have a whole lot of use for Spark Dragon. Ugh, these guys again, pass. Bye now. I'll go do other things. Okay, so we, we do have a side area. I don't know what's going to be inside of it, um, but it's finally our first side area of the entire game. I miss the Mako Reactor. The Mako Reactor is cool. At least we do have the save point right here. Okay, access prism case. So we I'm probably not gonna bring Chocobo back out. Uh, not until we actually have uh the next form unlocked. So who do we have that we haven't leveled up and won't level up that we want to level up? We got Cactuar. That'd be funny. We got the Tonberry. We do have the Sandicores. There's also the Phoenix, but the Phoenix doesn't have any transfigs, which is always a bit of a eh for me. Not to mention we already have like a shit ton of... We have too many fire types. I need other kinds that aren't boring. We still don't know what the mini golem turns into. Huh. That's interesting. All right, do we... Screw it, let's bring a goblin along. I don't, I mean, I'm effectively just grabbing random. So we might as well bring goblin and see what, see what we can get. Oh shit, we should probably go save just in case. Because if I do die, I really don't want to have to run back. Uh, not these guys again. I wonder, can I... There we go. Okay, cool. Turns out you can... Uh, auto running away. Yes! Wow! I just realized Square Enix has put out a lot of games this this year. Because we had uh, I Am Setsuna. We have World of Final Fantasy. We have... Uh, we have Final Fantasy... 15. Was DQ is Dragon Quest a Square Enix game? I don't remember. Yeah, we got this. I guess we're doing this. 
It is a... Yeah, it's, it's Square Enix. So... Damn, Square Enix has been pumping shit out. And they also did, um... Isn't, um... What? Yeah. What is the what is the total list of Square Enix releases? Because they've pumped out a shit ton of games. This year alone. Let's see, is there a list of video games? Properties, video games. List of Square Enix video games. Thank you. It's not, Is it sorted by year? Okay, original release date. Oh, right. Square Enix formed in 2013. I forgot about that. Okay. So, I'm going to ignore the the mobile stuff. So, there's World of Final Fantasy. 15. Apparently, there's a Dissidia one. Oh, wait. No. What? Why is I Am Setsuna not on here? I'm confused, and I don't know. Oh, yeah. There's also Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. Jesus. I mean, go, go, Square Enix. Even if, like, this game has its flaws, I'd still say it's pretty damn good. Uh, so, comparatively, like, the amount of relatively good stuff that they're putting out. Yeah, I don't know why uh, there's a Dissidia title li listed there. Unless there's a new Dissidia one. I don't know. Oh. I found the Murkriffs. Is these things? Wait, I don't have these. Oh shit! This is the Manticore. This is the um. This is the predecessor for the Sphinx. I actually do need to catch one of these. Okay, inflict poison for Prism Tunity. And they probably can't run away, and they're probably pretty weak. So, yes. If only I can find it. All right, Poison Fang. There we go. Okay, so we're probably going to get poisoned to hell and back again. Which I'm not exactly keen on. Come on, just catch it. No, damn it. Might not actually mind bringing a Manticore along. Though, I assume... Ugh, this is a pain in the ass. I'm not even sure, can you... There we go. Can you even poison bosses? I don't know about that. That's an interesting question. Okay, Tremor. Now that we're here, nope. Guess that didn't work. Holy Ray? I'm actually not sure what these guys are weak to. Well, the answer is damage. Damage works pretty damn well. Of course, freaking Venom Needle's getting kind of pissy. I'm getting kind of pissy about the whole Venom Needle thing. Yeah, there we go. Ugh. Okay, abilities. Can't do that. Banish root? Nope. It's only one. Flick evasion. Don't really have much here. Alright, let's just attack the weakest. <laughs> okay, let's stack back up. And... I assume I can do... We can do Whisper Wind, but let's just cure up along the way. I know I can check the resistances. It's mostly I'm just, uh, I'm just guesstimating and being lazy. Oh, shit, we know Ultima. Crap, I, I need to use that. This has to be one of the more annoying things I've ever gone through in a game. Uh, okay, Ultima. But when I get Ultima? Oh, is it because we know Holy? That's, that, that could work. Let's heal up a bit. Because we have taken some hefty hefty hits, and that poison is not friendly. Oh yeah, we also have rays. Wait, do we not? Oh. Does rays heal us? Damn it. I was hoping it would heal us. Alright, whatever, I'll just beat him up the rest of the way and go from here. That wasn't so bad. Hey, okay. Okay. It may look like a cat, 
but what feline has a poisonous scorpion tail? This one. Now, manticores are usually more lion-like, but this is Grimoire, and here, cats get around. Okay, so, Venom Tickle, Guarding Claw. Okay, I'm actually kind of down for going for Sphinx. Let's use default, looks good. Oh, it's small too. Let's take it with us. Yeah, I didn't like the other one because it had too many death attacks. This one does not suffer that problem. There we go. Yeah, Raze revives party members, but it said it also healed them. I, I know it I know it probably wouldn't actually do anything, but still. Level 37. Oh, it's just these hucker suckers. Uh yeah, don't care. I'm just gonna throw it on auto. I'm just gonna save my AP for the next fight, probably, and we'll lead with Ultima, seeing as Oh. They have sleep. My favorite. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, there's not really much I can do here. We're just gonna wait. She will, she'll wake up eventually. They have to hit me at some point. But I guess if they keep using sleep leaves against me. Oh, but sleep. Okay, there we go. So it turns out sleep leaves does actually hurt me, which wakes me up. And considering that's like the their only move, doesn't matter too much. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I wanna I wanna save up Ultima for the the next fight. Because I'd like to lead with it. Yeah. So this is the area. This is the land of the extremely jerksome uh, status effects, which is kind of hilarious, actually. At least these guys do, like, no damage. Okay. Oh. Toply. Okay. Oh, might as well kill him. There's only one guy left. Gonna, yep, made me topple. And stunned. And whatever. And we're back to sleep. I guess we'll just use potions. Nah. We're not gonna be asleep next time, so we should be able to heal up normally. Unless it's confused, at which point I'm going to be annoying. Or I'm going to be annoyed. Can't you just use ether? I could, but I also have this extremely bad habit of never ever using ethers in any Final Fantasy game I have ever played. It's a serious, serious issue. I actually don't know which Final Fantasy games I've ever played that I've actually used an ether in. Which is stupid. But hey. This one's level 43. That could be a problem. We're gonna try it anyway. Hello, what's it? Oh, right. These guys. Righto. Okay, abilities. Yes, yeah, so we'll have her on cure duty. And him on. Let's use ultimate and see what it does. Not done yet. You know, in the grand scheme of things, why don't I have one of these? Yeah, yeah. Come on. Are we all confused? Oh no, we're just countering. We're not even taking our turns here, I was wondering. Okay, well, we gotta cure ourselves. Yeah, I'm fairly certain I already have a red cap, and even if I didn't, there's no reason why I want one of these guys. Yeah, I can catch them, but there's no use for it. Uh, because I already have... I already have a goblin, so even if I did get a red cap, it wouldn't matter. This is kind of stupid, by the way. Can I use Tremor? Thank you. They resisted it. Well... Okay. This is slow. 
Oh, shit. I still have it on auto. Uh, I'm a dumbass. Alright, whatever. Okay. So they're gonna... Nope, they hit. Okay, abilities. Holy ray. Let's take them out the rest of the way. Admittedly, saving up for Ultima might have might have done more damage, but that also yeah. worked. This was a pain in the butt. Though I get the feeling the next one's gonna be the worst, because it's gonna be covered in confusion. Well, whatever. I got ways of putting this stuff down, and we might still be in trouble. Eh, well, this is not the highest level group. What are we up against? The answer is... Reaver moves. Okay, fine. Ether. Small amount. Large amount. Let's let's go with another Ultima. It does damage. We don't even use Yep, we're confused. Okay. Yeah, we don't we don't even use ethers that much. The faster I get through the faster I get through these areas and get to some plot, the happier I'm gonna be. So are we confused? I think we're confused. I don't know. We still have the counters to push us along, though. It's weird. We've got the question marks above our head, but we're not actually doing anything. Good also job. forgot, uh, the Holy Dragon makes it so we heal while, we're, while we've got a status effect, which is really handy, actually. Okay. So now, before anything shows up, we want to mess with our stacks. Specifically, we need to get Behemoth out of here. And we need to get Batbeard out of here. Uh, and then we want to do Mirage Boards. So what can we do with the Moogle? So I've not exactly been using him in any way, shape, or form. Not much, actually. Oh, that's fine. At least we've been leveling fairly regularly around here. Let's see. Is the Manticore is doing okay. I don't think I'm going to bother. Okay, last Merc Rift. So, here's the question. This guy's special. This is the Nightmare. It's weak as hell. Use Dark Attacks. Okay, I'm gonna go save. 